Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock Phantom Gaming Radeon RX 6750 XT. AMD recently launched the so-called refresh of the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. For naming purposes, these new graphics cards will have a new SKU in the format of the Radeon RX 6X50 XT. For example, the enthusiast grade RX 6950 XT and the gamer's choice, the RX 6750 XT. And today we'll be taking a look at the ASRock Phantom Gaming Radeon RX 6750 XT featuring AMD's RDNA2 architecture. It now comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM running at the faster 18 gigabits per second speed on the 129 bit memory bus. The GPU clock speed is now set at 2150 MHz with a boost clock speed of 2623 MHz, while the game clock operates at 2554 MHz. To power this graphics card, you'll need two 8-pin PCIe power cables. It has a TDP, or total board power, of around about 250 watts, so we recommend minimum power supply of around 850 watts or higher. For cooling, it comes with ASRock's Phantom Gaming 3X cooling system with three striped axle fans and a uh, reinforced metal backplate. The output includes three display ports, version 1.4, and a uh, HDMI 2.1 with uh, VRR. Oh, and I forgot, it also supports the uh, ASRock's polychrome sync, of course. It'd be interesting to see how this graphics card will perform against others on the market. So uh, let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and see how it goes. So, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Phantom Gaming Radeon RX 6750 XT. as the OC edition and uh, it supports the 1440 QHD and uh, 1440p gaming. It comes with 12 gigabytes of uh, GDDR6 RAM and of course it supports the PCI4 standard there and uh, comes with a polychrome sync. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay. Here we have the uh, quick installation guide and uh, the graphics card. Alright, there's nothing else inside the box. Alright, okay, here we have the uh, the graphics card itself. It's, uh, it's a three fan card and uh, it takes up uh, about two and a half PCIe slot space. Um, yeah, notice the, uh, the fan in the middle has got this clear kind of blades. This is where the RGB comes in. Um, three axle fans for the cooling and the top right here we have the uh, the Radeon logo and the Phantom Gaming that also lights up with the RGB notice the uh, reinforced uh, kind of back plate right here frame that gives you extra stability and we have two 8 pin PCI power connectors for your graphics cards it has a uh, TBP of 250 watts, so you need a uh, minimum power supply. We recommend 850 watts. All right. At the back here, uh, you've got this nice back plate right here, which helps with the cooling. And um, that's, uh, that's very nice. If you look at the, um, the bottom right here on the side, you can see the uh, actual fins for cooling and also the heat pipe. Right. Very nice. There's also a switch. Uh, if you notice here, it says LED on and off. You can actually enable the LEDs to go on and off, which is quite nice. Have a look at the output. We have a three display port, 1.4 and um, one HDMI. And these are the uh, ports that we have. It's a very nice card. We'll be putting this onto our test system. 
So I'm expecting some decent performance similar to an RTX 3070. So we'll see how this card actually performs. So this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Phantom Gaming Radeon RX 6750 XT graphics card. All said and done, I can confirm that the ASRock Radeon RX 6750 XT offers a slight improvement in performance over the original RX 6700 XT, which we reviewed last year. Although you get the same amount of re-accelerators and the same amount of stream processors, this improvement in performance is all thanks to the overclocked GPU running at a base clock rate of uh, 2495 MHz, with the game and boost clock rate running at the uh, increased speed of 2554 MHz and 2634 megahertz respectively. Plus, you also now get the 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM running at the faster memory speed of 18 gigabits per second. All the above increased speeds mean you get the extra gaming performance. During our test, we used an Intel Core i9 12 nanometer KF processor along with a Radeon RX 6750 XT graphics card. We managed to pull some excellent scores in all of our benchmarks. I've got an impressive score of 11,717 for GPU base mark and a Final Fantasy XP score of 12,711. For UL's latest Procyon photo editing suite, we got a score of 9,184 and 7,264 for the video editing suite. For 3D Mark Port Royale, we got a score of 6,160 and a DirectX ray tracing score of 16.3 frames per second. For Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a decent score of 14,187 and 33,363 respectively. And finally, for Unigine Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got a score of 7,245 and 10,065 respectively. If ASRock manages to keep the price of their Radeon RX 6750 XT Phantom Gaming close to MSRP, then this card is definitely worth considering if you're after a decent graphics card for 1440p gaming. It offers slightly improved performance over the original RX 67 XT thanks to the overclocked GPU and faster GDDR6 RAM running at 18 gigabits per second. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock Phantom Gaming Radeon RX 6750 XT graphics card featuring 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM and with performance that will uh, surely be enough for most gamers out there. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.